Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with something really special for you today. That's the DG58 with the Jack Nightshade rifle kit on it. And it says rifle, but we're going to find out this thing operates more like an SMG with a punch of an assault rifle. As insured Frames, one of the friends of the channel here, a member of our aircrew lounge, has been after Grandpa to do a review on this weapon. And rightly so, because it's one of the better weapons in the game right now now. You can see from the summary here that it has more aftermarket parts than the average 50-year-old ex-movie star would have. Three. It's got three aftermarket parts. But let's get into it real quick and start out with the Jack Nightshade Rifle Kit. And what does that do for us? ADS speed 31% better. 11% on the reload quickness. So we're now at Assault Rifle Reload Quickness with 45 rounds, by the way. Sprint to fire speed. Now this is a composite number. I've added some more aftermarket parts to enhance the sprint to fire speed. It is at 82 milliseconds. That is absolutely phenomenal. That is something that you will write in every email that you send out today once you experience this thing. Now, the recoil is impacted, but look at it. The gun kick is still only 29 degrees per second. That's nothing, as is the horizontal recoil. The vertical recoil is actually only 46, roughly degrees per second. So all that performance comes at a slight cost to 6% down on damage, upper torso up a little bit. As Grandpa always says, if it's less than 10%, you probably are not going to notice it. So headshots at 46, which is pretty hefty, 36 for upper torso. So you want to keep this high, 33, 33 for the lower torso and legs. Effective damage range goes down significantly, but it's still at 19 meters. Minimum damage range is up to 40.6 meters and the bullet velocity is an outstanding 700 meters per second. You can get people running across the map and look at the rate of fire. Just about 11 rounds per second at 857.1 rounds per minute. This is a gacamole machine. All right, let's have a look at the rest of the attachments. Aftermarket part, I said 45 rounds. Actually, it's a 40 round magazine and that slightly impacts mobility handling 10% down so you might consider 20 round mag gets you at 176 milliseconds but I'm telling you you will burn through that ammunition you'll find that you will be changing out and it's 3.2 seconds you'd be on the sidelines more than you're going to be in the game if you use this thing the Q22 tactical grip decreases sprint to fire time by 22% and the tack spread by 20%. And you can see that the hip fire is not great, but it's workable as is the hip fire max impacts 6% the recoil. The 5GN TAC comb, 36% decrease in the sprint to fire time. I mean, you can be running and gacking and running again before the enemy even knows you've stopped by to visit. Helps with the hip fire and the recoil a bit, but we'll look at the recoil in a second. The hardened rubber CQC butt plate and that helps a little bit with mobility and handling and impacts the recoil the recoil numbers still aren't bad even if you experience the recoil which grandpa didn't in game Speaking of the recoil, let's have a look at it in the shooting range. First, hip fire, no control. Up slightly to the right, then back to the center. Now, ADS, no control. You can see there's a slight amount of pretty much calculable aim idle sway. Going up. And this time we just go straight up. So it should be very easily controllable if it exists in the game. You can see it went straight as an arrow there. So let's take in Shured Frame's recommendation onto the field of honor, the GT58 with the Jack Nightshade rifle kit. Let's take it onto the field of honor, see how it did for grandpa, see what it did to grandpa's friendly enemies. Let's go. Grandpa's really pumped for this one. I mean, this weapon just feels powerful. There we go. We stop and wait for somebody to bulldog grandpa at the beginning of free for all, and this thing puts out the bullet. Look at there. I mean, it deletes people. It's like an eraser. Whoa. Jump past him, turn around. What was he doing? The reload is fast enough 3.2 seconds. 
Uh, it's free for all, dude. You can't just stand there with your cat. AMR. Whoa, there goes the Riddler. Or Swiper. Stop swiping. There we go. You feel, you know, for an LMG, you can run fast. And you can jump with it and get a reasonable jump shot. So I realized it's called the Nightshade, Jack Knight's Shade rifle kit, meaning it's more an AR. Ouch. There's a, there's a Muppet up there, but you can shoot through the wall and gack that Muppet. And you can see I'm just shooting steadily, and the recoil doesn't go away with me. In fact, I was anticipating it and started out pretty low, but I, I had to physically move my sight up because the recoil would not. I think the weapon looks cool, too, with that, with that barrel. Uh-oh. Yeah, if, some, if, if somebody's running away from you, they're pushing up daisies. That guy in the black bathrobe, I hope he plays better than that in rank because he was, he was trying to stab the year. I'm sure he does play pretty good. Grandpa doesn't mean to insult anybody. There he is again. He thinks that he's going to bring a knife for, to a gunfight, and that's just not going to work for him. Uh oh so you do have to trade out, even with a 40 round mag, you still have to trade out the ammunition, the magazine. Here, put down my welcome mats and, oh, that guy got me with a pistol. With this weapon, and the bullets are heavy that are coming out. You feel like you're putting out something substantial. Sometimes with some of the weapons, I, I feel like I'm shooting pillows. There's the guy with the cat AMR. Oh, that was the world's most unfortunate spawn for that poor guy. I should let him kill me for free. So, Grandpa, the farm, and go ahead and sign the papers and buy it. I mean, oh my word. There's the knifer. And I, there's the knifer one more time. Easy victory for this weapon. The weapon's pretty cracked. It's got Grandpa dancing. Doing a little John Travolta there in Saturday Night Fever. Actually, I did it before John Travolta did. There's the knifer. Bless his heart. All right, that was a good first time out of the gate with the DG-58 with the Jack Nightshade kit on it and the other two Jack kits on it. All right, remember, we were going to get up and... Run after somebody here. This will be a good test of the, the distance capability. You can see there's no recoil. All the recoil that it showed, which wasn't a lot. I mean, it was a lot of red, meaning the recoil was added. But when you looked at the actual numbers, the amplitude of those numbers was quite low. In fact, you can completely kit up a weapon for controlling recoil, and your numbers may not be that good. So we started from a really solid spot. And Grandpa starting. Two gacks down. Oh, come on, step on it. What it with a shotgun. I don't know. I don't even know what that is. The red what? Hornet? What do you call that outfit? You call that outfit easy to see. You had to switch to the Renetti for a couple of quick gacks because you do need to change out the magazine. There's the tactical truck driver. There he is again. And Grandpa gets shot. There's the tactical truck driver. I'm making a career with that poor guy. Unless there's more than one person running that skin, which... Really? I doubt it. And the cluster mine is doing some work for Grandpa. In fact, Grandpa could just lay down and take a rest. Now, that's one of the few times we're head-on-head. 
you can see the, uh, the grandpa got gacked face to face. Oops, <laughs> don't stand around when somebody has a cluster mine going up in the air. This gun felt like it put the game. The DG-58, Jack Nightshade, and the other two Jack attachments. Felt like it put the game on autopilot. It, the gun was pulling me through around the map, gacking everybody it saw. Another unfortunate spawn. Oh, talk about another unfortunate skin. There's the red. Guy right behind me got me. But I mean, I don't understand why people would wear skins that make it easier to aim at them. Because they're so bright. Oop, maybe the shoddy guy should look up. That guy's doing pretty good with that Stay Puff Marshmallow skin, and there's the red guy. I mean, you can see these people from a mile away. I would recommend something much more muted, or no skin at all, just the default. Oh, gosh. Just the default. But if you've tried this weapon in this configuration, comment below how you like it. I think it is probably one of the best guns in the game at the moment. Better than a knife. There's a guy in red. I wouldn't have seen him if he hadn't been wearing that. Let me know, though, because I think this gun, this build is awesome. Thank you, Insured Frames, for pushing me over the finish line on making this video. I enjoyed every second of using this weapon. I just need one more gag, see if we can cheese one there. And Grandpa's doing another dance, more of a floater dance, listening for insults coming his way, though I never respond just a cool looking gun it puts out bullets quickly they have a big punch and you can move quickly with it so let me know let me know hey there's one of those 46 guys that are i guess rebuilding their account after the band waves anyways please like and subscribe cheers and peace